A Missouri prosecutor launching a probe into an armed couple who say they feared for their lives during a confrontation with protesters who broke into their gated community. Our next guest calls the investigation outrageous. Here to explain, Missouri GOP Senator Josh Hawley. Senator, uh, the, these two protecting their own house, they broke down the gate, but yet now most people, most news organizations are, are vilifying them. It's an incredible thing to see, Brian, especially when you consider that this same St. Louis prosecutor has had dozens and dozens of violent criminals referred to her by the St. Louis police, and she hasn't prosecuted any of them. She hasn't even charged any of them. She's turned them back out on the streets. And then you've got this couple who, by the way, are on their own property. They never left their property, just standing there with their perfectly First Amendment, Second Amendment right, rather, to keep them bare arms, standing right there. And they're going to be investigated? I mean, it's just insane. But they're attorneys themselves. And I was looking at Jonathan Turley's uh, Twitter account, who's hardly a right wing, a left wing firebrand. And he says this might be tough to defend because of public sentiment right now. You, the former attorney general, does he have a point? Well, I mean, the public sentiment shouldn't have come into it when you're talking about the law. And the truth is they are on their own property. They are standing there. They have a Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms. They felt that they were being threatened. The video shows folks on their property shouting threats at them. And the truth is they never left their property. I mean, they, ne they never went toward the crowd, got off the property, you know, waved the guns around to get them back on the street. They stayed right where they were which is their right to do. And the idea that you wouldn't prosecute actual violent criminals who are shooting cops, who are burning buildings in St. Louis, those people don't even get charged, yet you're going to investigate and maybe prosecute this couple? I mean, that's really an abuse of power. All right, so let's move on. Uh, I 100% agree. I'd like to push back on you, Senator, but I just agree with you uh, too much. It's too obvious to me. But, uh, Senator, let's talk about what's happening. A lot of Republicans, a lot of conservatives are upset by some of the Supreme Court justice rulings that have come down with a conservative as the, uh, as the Chief Justice Roberts. What are you proposing? Well, I think it, we've got to take a hard look at how Republicans over the years have chosen these justices. I mean, this has been a, a disastrous term in many ways for the Supreme Court, especially for religious conservatives who have staked so much uh, on the Supreme Court. President Trump inherited a, a selection process that uh, he made some changes to, which I think was good. And, and now I, I think more changes need to be made. I mean, we've got to make sure that we are getting pro-Constitution judges on that bench who are not going to waver in the face of pressure, who are going to follow the law the way it is written, not legislate from the bench. And I think it's time to make sure that this process of choosing judges gets scrubbed from top to bottom so that we are choosing hardcore, rock-ribbed conservatives who are going to follow the law and follow the Constitution, not impose their own will. And that's true. And that is another reason why everyone's got to vote in November, because you're going to, uh, logic says you're going to have at least two more openings on the court. Finally, real quick, Black Lives Matter. That's right. Well, people believe uh, with the statement, a lot of people are upset with the organization, including the president. Do you believe Black Lives Matter is a Marxist organization that should be uh, ridiculed or supported? Uh, Black Lives Matter is an organization. I think you just go to their website, look at what they believe. I mean, they're, they're Marxist. Uh, they've got statements against the state of Israel. Uh, there's this, this hatred for the United States of America that is there. I mean, they and all kinds of the nuclear family, they say, is, is inherently racist. I mean, that's crazy, crazy stuff. Of course, in the principle, all, of course, Black Lives Matter. All lives matter, absolutely, 100%. But the organization and what it is standing for and pushing I think it's very, very dangerous. And they're, by the way, Brian, they are hijacking. The organization is trying to hijack any movement towards justice for, uh, for George Floyd, for instance. They're trying to hijack that conversation away towards their own political Marxist agenda. Uh, that's dangerous. Some weird things happening in the city between the monuments, between the unrest in Seattle, New York, Minneapolis, uh, and, and that movement. Uh, let's see if something's going to positive come out of this. Right now, it just looks like chaos. Uh, Senator, thanks so much. Thank you.